Did the cops say anything, like, who did it? Since when do they care about us, D? They don't know shit, and they probably never will. But you know, Mom, the other day after we talked, it seemed like you might have had some questions for Lorenzo. You think that would make me kill my husband over 20 years? The father of my children? I don't know. What's up, power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about a Tahara family drama in this episode 6 and the aftermath of Lorenzo's death. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, let's get straight into the topics. One thing about Kane is that if anyone challenges his intelligence, he'll do anything to prove them wrong. He did it with Lorenzo and definitely he'll do it with Monet too. Kane will find out that Monet set their father up. Then this statement from her saying, And stop trying to put two and two together. Because we both know your dumb ass always ends up with five. Kane will make her know that he can actually put two and two together to get four. The irony of the whole thing is that Monet is beginning to think about the fact that her children will not forgive her if they find out what she did. She will start acting desperately without thinking and expose herself at the end. Her deep thoughts were reflected to us through the reappearing of Lorenzo to her. Lorenzo may be dead but I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing some dream appearances here and there till Monet get caught. Now, in this sixth episode, Jude was made to believe that the Russians killed Lorenzo. His emotion got the better side of him and he went after them. That's me, motherfucker. What the hell? And I know everyone in his position would have done the same. Just like how God didn't waste a minute to kill Lorenzo after knowing that he killed his father even though we all know it wasn't Lorenzo. Yet again, Drew made the same mistake God made by going after the wrong people. Now in my last video I stated that Kane would try his mind games with Moni like he did with Lorenzo when he mistakenly shot Zeke. So let's not underestimate Kane and the skills he developed from Mecca at the time they were dealing together. How will Kane or any of the children find out that Moni has something to do with the death of their father? Now we all remember when Monet was trying to convince Kane to kill Lorenzo, right? She said everything possible for him to think that killing his father was a great idea even though Kane wasn't sure about doing it. Now with Kane, he'll probably reflect on how hard Monet was trying to convince him to off Lorenzo. Even for her to think of it alone at a time will open his mind that Monet can possibly set their father up to be killed. Now, what else can give Monet out that she is guilty? Her body language and how she is going to handle Lorenzo's death. I know these two situations might not feel the same, but Lorenzo's death shortly after Zeke's death should totally break her down by now. But it seems as though the way Monet handles Zeke's death is totally different from how she is handling that of Lorenzo. I know losing a son feels differently from losing over a 20 year husband, but the way Monet is reacting so far with Lorenzo's death as if she is happy about it will clearly give her out not to only her children but to the feds as well. Now, when Zeke was killed, Monet was all over the place venting her anger and emotion on everybody that until she finds Zeke's killer, no one was going to rest. Someone killed my son and ain't nobody gonna fucking rest until I find out who. She wanted Lorenzo to find Zeke's killer ASAP. The whole Tahara family became hot as if Zeke was even a Tahara and Monet didn't even blink before shooting IG seven times. <laughs> Now that is how it feels to lose a loved one or a dear one. That is why I don't blame Drew for his action by going after the Russians. But let's continue with Monet. Now her reactions to Lorenzo's death shows that she is relieved he is finally gone. From the time she was asked to ID him, there wasn't any element of emotion pain or head towards seeing Lorenzo's body. She stood there like Tommy and Ghost moment when they were staring at Kanan's body. Now, if you look closely to how Blanca is looking at Monet standing there like she's watching TV, you can tell that Blanca expects more reactions from Monet than just standing there like that. For someone who has three children with a man should definitely react differently from this. If a wife loses her husband shortly after losing her beloved son, there is some expectation to her reaction at the first sight of the body unless of course she has something to do with the person's death and that is exactly what Monet is exhibiting. As if that was enough, she has already started working on his insurance policy even before his burial. This is how you help. 
Lorenzo's life insurance policy. These little traces of unusual Monet will give people who are paying attention to her get some clue on her involvement in Lorenzo's death. Let me know what you think so far in the comment section. Now let's talk about Diana. It was obvious that she and Salim was done the moment he started speaking ill about her father in their house under these bizarre circumstances. What I'm afraid Diana will think moving forward is Tariq set her up. The way things are going, Tariq is going to be hotter in coming episodes. Why do I say so? Tariq came to Diana heartbroken after he confronted Efe about Lauren. He came to sympathize with her and wanted her to push some weight. She declined by telling him she has to stay out to honor her father's last wish. He then attracted her with the locker they've been hiding their drugs at the rooftop after Diana said she needed a hideout to keep the remaining drugs her father gave her. I know Tariq was genuinely trying to offer his help to Diana, but a turn of events might make Diana think that Tariq intentionally set her up with this offer. That again will bring the question to them that how did the camera get up there? Now, I want to establish this. Jenny is going to face a huge problem moving forward and might end up like Whitman. How can you want to arrest Diana when she was the only one who was really shedding tears for her father? Trust me, Jenny is cold and people like her who think they are doing their best to bring people down end up like Whitman. Desperation in this kind of situation will only get her to make terrible mistakes in the process. Now, as we know, Diana has been caught and no two ways about that. She will be going down for this. The same way, Efe will equally be caught just that she might be smart not to open the locker after seeing the camera. And this can also make her case a bit different from Diana's. But the questions the Fed will be asking her is, what was she going to do there? Now moving on, this scene alone I believe reminds Kane of something. Stand down, Kane. None of us got shot, all right? Drew had a plan, he made the right call. It reminded him of when he had his father in his pocket and was calling the shots. Drew, Diana, and everybody was confused as to why all of a sudden, Lorenzo approves everything Kane sees, even if it doesn't make sense. Now, Monet is also quick to defend every move Drew makes. This reaction from Monet in Drew's defense that he made the right call is going to make Kane think that Drew has Monet in his pocket as well. And like I said early on, Kane will do all he can to take his place as the head of the family. And I believe moving forward, Kane is going to be working closely with Ife instead of trusting his family. Right now, it seems that Ife is the only one that can rule with him since he doesn't know what to expect from his family. Now, in one of my last videos, I stated that the night sacks went to truth in an attempt to kill ghosts will be used against him later. And someone came to comment that that won't happen because the issue of him going to truth that night was already said in court. But here we are in this episode with Jenny threatening him with it. If you refuse to cooperate, Cooper, your confession about bringing a gun to truth will be used against you. Well, I'm not saying I'm all known, but sometimes let's have a second thought about some key points I make in my videos because whilst you watch the show to enjoy, I watch with thinking about how the writers create the storyline as it's presented in every episode. Anyway, let me know what you make of all this by leaving your thoughts in the comment sections and your theories about the Taharis. I'll be dropping another video on how Kane is going to blame Tariq for helping their mother to kill their father. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.